I'm Professor Gordon Walker from Lancaster University, I'm part of the Lancaster Environment Centre and also the Demand Centre, which does a lot of work on the demand side of the energy system. What did you talk about at the event this evening? I presented a sort of surprisingly positive argument around the processes of change and transformation that are already going on within the energy system. I talked about how we can see various things happening at a more local scale, so more local energy generation, more local distribution systems and such like, more involving energy systems, so a greater range of actors and organisations involved in uh, various aspects of producing energy, distributing energy, making energy do work, um, a smarter energy system where you have data infrastructures laid over energy infrastructures and giving us much more information about how, how energy is being used, how it's being produced and the relationship between supply and demand. And then that's very closely related to the energy system becoming more integrated and responsive so that rather than supply always meeting demands, being able to do things now that enable demand to some degree to respond to the challenges there are of supplying energy uh, at peak times, at times when we have a lot of um, carbon heavy energy generation involved and so on. So it was a sort of argument that we are achieving a lot, there's a lot of change and innovation going on, but a concern that this is currently not being properly supported by government policy and that we're a sort of moment where some big decisions need to be made into the future as to what sort of energy system we're going to have and how much these sort of more local phenomena is going to be genuinely supported. What one recommendation would you give to policymakers working in this area? My one recommendation for policymakers is firstly to counsel the Hinkley nuclear power station. I think it was a very bad decision sending out all the wrong signals and to, in its place, properly support renewables. I think we've seen a real collapse in the, in the, in the way that government is, is actively supporting the growth of renewables, particularly solar, PV has just, has just disappeared as a, as, a, as a sort of, in terms of its growth trajectory that it's been on very significantly over the last four or five years. And to really significantly um, focus on demand reduction because so much more can be achieved over de demand reduction. It does such good work, not only in terms of the direct energy that we then don't use, but also in terms of enabling decarbonisation of the supply that we have to happen that much more easily and efficiently. How can we use geographical evidence to better inform our decision making? The theme of today's, this evening's event has been about rescaling and I think what geographers do is we don't take scale for granted. We, we, we sort of problematise scale, ask questions about it and rather than assuming that there is one scale at which things ought to happen like the energy system should be a national energy system, decisions should be made at a national level and so on, I think we, we problematise that and we say well things can be different, that, that rescaling can take place, that, that there can be a, a, a local reconfiguration of, of energy systems and the way that we live with energy, as well as um, new relationships with, with, with other countries in terms of the sort of international scale at which energy governance is, is, is undertaken.